Hey, this is Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com, and I have been away for a bit, but uh, getting back in the swing of things and knocking out a few tutorials here and there. Uh, started a new job, and uh, the dress policy is a little more strict than uh, here at Tony Teach, and uh, right now I'm in my pajamas, but you don't need to know that. Anyway, so... I'm excited, uh, very excited about uh, Toon Boom Animate 3 or Animate 3 Pro. Um, and for one particular reason, um, and that's what they did with the pencil tool. Dude, that line is way over there. Um, and in particular, uh, I really, really love the fact that you can do uh, some thick and thins now. Just give me one moment. Let's move all dude's collar over just a bit. Okay, cool. Um, let me lock my sketch layer. Let's go to the top layer here. Uh, so here's the deal. Here, here's why I'm very excited. Almost always when I'm working on character design, I will use uh, the brush tool for my designs and the main reason I do that is because I love how to get some really nice thick and thins matter of fact I think I'm going to uh, crank this up about to 30 yeah the lovely thick and thin lines I can get so if I want to make this really cool Sunday morning comic strip uh, ink line. That's what I've always loved about the brush tool. I never really used the pencil tool. Um, but yeah, what they did with the new pencil tool, I'm going to get rid of this ear here real quick. I'm going to do a compare and contrast. Let's take, so this is the brush tool. And now if I go to the pencil tool and I can do the same thing as far as getting some nice thick and thin lines. Now, you might be wondering, dude, what is the difference? What's the big deal? Okay, so I'm going to show my stroke simply by pressing the letter D. And if you look at what's happening with the paintbrush, I'm gonna grab my contour editor and I can pull the thins and thicks here, but it's like you have to grab both sides. Now, if you look, at the pencil this is just a stroke straight down the middle okay so if i pull and alter this it's pulling everything okay and let's take it even a step further let's do the pencil editor with the pencil editor i can come here let's click and i can click and drag and start playing around with the thicks and thins of this as well. But it is still a stroke. So I am loving this. And uh, let's go up and finish up Mr. Frank and Homie here. I'm gonna grab my pencil tool. I'm gonna turn off my strokes here. All right, I'm going to move you up a little bit. Yeah, I think that nose looks pretty cool. Now I'll finish those eyes probably with the paintbrush. And again, I love working and just leaving these really large gaps in my work. It, it reminds me a lot of, um, again, those little Sunday morning comic strips. All right, let's see.
drag this down. Probably could have just flipped those, but I have no idea what this is going to be for. Um, it's just turned September, so of course I am thinking about my favorite holiday of all, uh, Halloween. Okay, grab my brush tool so I can do dude's eyeball there. Frank looks a little concerned here. Uh, should we bring his nose down? I think it's pretty cool. Hmm. Take those out. And let's go back to our pencil tool. Give him a little bit of stitchery here. Okay. And so yeah, it's pretty decent. But yeah, that is me loving, absolutely loving the new pencil tool. And I think I'm going to start using that um, as opposed to using the uh, the brush tools I usually do. I think the com amount of control and cleanup you have um, is a lot stronger. So let's turn off Mr. Sketch Layer. Eh, not too bad. Got a few things going here in Tweak. Um, but yeah, that's... Uh, me really digging what they've done here. Um, in addition to that, I'm going to show you one other thing. Uh, let's go over to our pencils here. Uh, I'm going to keep scrubbing down. One, you've got a charcoal pencil. So I'm going to zoom in here. So you can have these beautiful textures on your pencils, not to mention just the thick and thin. And you also have it where it automatically does the thick and thin. If you are drawing with a mouse, which I used to do and I don't do anymore, but let's say you um, are drawing with a mouse. Let's grab our pencil here and I'm going to use this tapered thickness. It's going to automatically give me a nice little thick and thin there. Matter of fact, let's do another one here. So it's going to give a thick and thin that's really cool to work with. Matter of fact, let's push this, make it very obvious. So yeah, this is me drawing with my mouse and again, pushing that whole brush feel, that whole thick and thin there. So by all means, if you haven't done so already, um, go ahead and download this, play around with it. It's a really, really awesome improvement. Uh, this is just one of the things they've done. And uh, I'll be talking about more of those uh, as the weeks go on. And you can also check out, I did a comparison of uh, the pencil tool in Flash, um, even in Flash CC versus the pencil tool in Toon Boom Animate Pro 3. So be sure to check that out. This has been Tony Ross for TonyTeach.com. Remember, keep it simple. Make it perfect. If you don't have time to make it perfect, rethink the idea. Have a good one.